this video, I'm going to show you how you can create printables on Canva and sell them on Etsy. I'm going to show you which type of printables sell well on Etsy and how you can identify a profitable niche. I will also cover how to create amazing designs using Canva that stand out in the very competitive world of Etsy. And finally, the technical and legal aspects of selling printables on Etsy, including formats, copywriting, and commercial use. So let's get started. To begin, we need to make a research for our printables so we can understand what is selling well and what it actually works when we try to sell our printables on Etsy. And to do this, I will recommend you to make a research. And to make a research, I'm going to be using a tool called Everfee. To start with the research of my printable, the first thing that I have to do is just go and think like I want to buy this product for myself. So I'm just going to go and over here I'm just going to type for birthday invitation template. So we have some options, birthday printable, birthday invitation printable, birthday invitation, birthday invitation digital. So over here I'm just going to go and then just think which words I would use to find the products that I want to get. So for my case, I'm just going to be using birthday invitation template. So this is a very good keyword that I can use to start to find which kind of niches are working well under this category. So over here, we have pastel dinosaur birthday, dinosaur first birthday. We have pink bow. What else we have over here? Unicorn birthday invitations. So all of these are working well on this niche. And I can go and then just choose one of these ones and then start to create my own design. But how I'm going to check if this niche is actually doing well? To do this, I'm going to use my Everv tool. So for this, first of all, I'm just going to choose one of these invitations. I actually like the pastel dinosaur birthday invitation. So I'm just going to open it. And over here, I'm going to go and I'm going to see the keywords that I have over here. So pastel dinosaur birthday invitation, T-Rex party. So I think this is something that I could easily do and we can go and start to analyze this. And first of all, I'm going to open my EverV account. And if you don't have one, you can click the link on my description and create one completely for free. So over here, you could go and use a product analysis and the keyword research. So over here, if we click in the keyword research, we can start and play with these keywords that we just placed. So we have printable invitation and then you can add over here dinosaur and then you can start to see how much volume of search that product has and how much competition. So we are also aware of how many people we're going to be competing to get that sale. So this is a very useful tool that I like to use as well. But for this video, I'm going to be using the shop analyzer. I really like this section because we can actually go and analyze the entire shop so we can see how well this format is working. So I'm just going to go and over here, I'm just going to go back to my product and this is the store. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to copy. So I paste it over here and we can click in the store. So we have printable candy. And now we can see with exact detail how good is this store making. And we can see that for the monthly revenue, it is $7,803. And this is insane if we take a look of what this store is actually selling. And we can see that this store mainly focus on invitation templates. So most of this income is made by selling birthday invitations, which is very crazy. So we can see invitation, invitation, invitation. Over here we have some wall art, but if you take a look, it's actually and mostly only invitations. So once I have made my research for my printables, I can go and start the creation of these ones. To start with the creation of our printables, the first thing that we have to do is open our Canva account. And over here, I'm just going to click in create a design. In this section, I'm going to click in custom size. Once I'm over here, I'm going to go and make sure that my units are on inches. So I'm going to click on inches and over here, I'm going to be choosing the sizing 5 times 7. But you can go and choose your own sizing. If you want to give more variety of printables to your customers, you can go and make different sizings. As you can see over here, it's appearing as the invitation portrait option. So I'm just going to click over it. Now, first of all, I'm going to be starting with the elements of my invitations since it's more easy to see the space that I have remaining for my fonts later on. So to start with this, I'm going to go to the section of elements and over here, I'm just going to search for dinosaurs. As you can see, I have a lot of options over here, but I'm going to click in the section of 
graphics. And if you're not sure what are which elements you can use for your invitations, what I will recommend you to do is just go and position on the element and you can click in these three dots. Over here, we can see this icon and we're going to click over it. And it's on this section where we can see the licensing and the commercial use for these elements. So as long as you check this section, you are able to use the elements from Canva. So I'm going to go, I can start to add my elements over here. I'm going to start by adding my dinosaurs. So I think I also like this one. You can make exactly the same. First of all, you can go, you can open your information, you can check, we see everything, it's okay. So you start to add all of your elements. And I would like to see more options like this. Over here, we already have the magic recommendation, so you can go and click in all of it, but sometimes it doesn't show right away. Click on these three dots again, and we can click in see more like this. We have all the elements that we can use. So I think I'm also gonna be using this one. So we can place it over here. We can use this one. I think I also like it. So I'm gonna be using it maybe here. So I can go and start adjust it. Maybe this one, not really. And I'm gonna be using this, 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 this. I like it, this one. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna place it I want to place this element over here, but looking to the other side. So I'm just going to go click and flip horizontal and I'm just going to put it on this corner. I think I also like this one over here and I'm just going to place it on this section. Maybe this one, I like it more. I think that it fits with the rest of the elements. So I'm just going to go and add it over here. I think I can go and duplicate this one. So we have like multiples of the same one. And now this is it for my uh, dinosaur elements. I also want to go and add some plants so it stands out more. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go back and over here, I'm just going to search for plants. So I'm going to hold, I already searched for it. And I really like this one, but I'm just going to go to the section of graphics. I think I really like this one over here and I can go and start to position it behind my dinosaur so i think i like it like this and i want it behind my dinosaur so i'm just gonna go and click in all the way to the back and then i'm gonna duplicate and i'm gonna add it in this other section i also found this element that i really like to use and if you want to find more elements like that you can only search for blob and then you will get some options so i like this one and i'm gonna keep adjusting so it fits perfectly. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to make exactly the same. I'm just going to flip and flip. And then we have it over here. I'm going to make it bigger and this one also bigger. So it stands out even more. And I want that my dinosaurs are above it. So I'm just going to go position and then all the way to the back. But I want my plant to be under it. So we're just going to keep it like this. And I think I start to really like this design. And there we go. I'm also going to be adding some flowers. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to click over here, see more like this. And I think I really like this flower, so I can go and then just position it where I want it to be. I can make this one and then duplicate and then make this one more small. And then just keep adding elements that will look very nice. I can move on and add the text for this one. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the section of text and we can click in add text box. And over here, I can go and add my text. So I already add happy birthday, but I don't really like the font of this. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to click in this section. We can use the free fonts, or if you already have some fonts yourself, you can go and add them as well. You can click in upload font and then use your own fonts. Another option is if we go back to the section of text, we can go and click in font combinations. So if you're not really sure on how to make font combinations, over here you can get some very good examples of font combinations and you can create your own or you can use also the free options. So I'm actually going to be using this one because I feel like it really stands out and I'm just going to go and copy my text. So I'm just going to make happy order and then we have birthday and then over here and there we go and i'm gonna adjust my elements 
There we go. And I can even go and change the color of my font. So I think that for happy, I'm going to be using the light green. And then for birthday, I can go and use this option. In case you want to get a specific color, maybe from your elements, we can go and click in pick a color and then you can get this specific color. So let's say that I want this specific green. I can go and then just choose it and then it's going to apply it to our text. But I'm going to be using actually this one because I feel like it looks better. So I'm just going to go and keep adding the rest of the text. And now I have finished the rest of my invitation. We can move on into create the back page of this. So I'm just going to make exactly the same. Add my elements and start to see how I can make this design even more cute. I think I'm going to be using this same part, which already looks very nice, but I'm just going to make it bigger from here. And then this one, I think it works very well and also bigger. I like it like this. I think it works very well. We can even go and duplicate this one and I'm just gonna delete this, add it over here and then just add it here in the middle. Or maybe, no, I think it was better how I put it or maybe we can make it bigger. Yeah, I think like this, it looks very nice. So now we have the front and the back page. But in case that you don't want to use Canva elements and you want to use different elements, you can actually go and search for these ones on Creative Fabrica. And if you don't have your account yet, you can click the link on my description and create one. And over here, you will get a lot of fonts and elements that you can start to add on your invitations. So you purchase them, you upload them into Canva and you can go and use them for your own invitations. And now we can move on into our option number two, using Canva AI. For this option, you can use Canva AI without any issues as long as you're clearly state that it's an AI generated work when you upload it into your Etsy listing. And to use this Canva AI, I'm going to go to the section of elements again and we can click in AI image generator. So I'm going to click in generate your own and to use this AI, it works like any other AI. First of all, we have to go and add the prompt of our image. So I'm going to be using this prompt and over here we can go and create actually two things. First of all, we can go and create an image or we can create a graphic and you can use both for your invitations. So first I'm going to show you how to create these images. Once you have add your prompt, we can click in styles and over here we can go and select the style that we want our image to be. And I'm going to use the dreamy one because I feel like it really stands out. And if we click in square, we have to go and choose the layout for our image because I'm going to be using it for my portrait invitation. I'm going to choose a portrait one because I feel like it will adjust better to my invitation. And now we can click in generate image. And now as you can see, it have generated some very nice images that we can go and use. I really like it this one, but I feel like I can get better results or more options of this same style. And to do this, I'm just going to click in these three dots and I'm going to click in generate more like this. And I feel like I really like it, this one and this one, but I'm going to be using this one. So I just click over it and it will add it into my design. So to use this one as an element, I'm going to go and I'm going to click in PG Remover, which is going to remove the background of our image. So as you can see, we can go and add it over here and we can start to design our invitation in the same way that we generate the last one. So I'm just going to go, I can click and I can change it so we can see what we can get. I'm just going to go and then I'm going to recreate something else. So this one is actually also very cute. And as you can see, it's creating it under the same style, which is going to make our invitation look even better. And I'm going to make exactly the same PG remover and I can add it as an element into my invitation. Now, if you don't want to generate the image, you can go and generate graphics. And for this section, it works exactly the same. We're just going to go at our prompt and over here, I'm just going to go and select styles. So style and over here, you can choose between all of these ones. So for monoline, unless you want to make your invitations on black and white, I wouldn't recommend use the line art, but you can use the sticker, organic, all of these ones also work very well. I'm going to be using the sticker one and then we can click in create graphic. And as you can see, it generate also very cute elements and I can go and make exactly the same generate more like this and then get different options of that same style of graphic. So I really like it, this one and I can make exactly the same. I can go and then just add it into my invitation. 
And now for the text, we have to go and make exactly the same, which is going to go at our text and keep designing the rest of our invitation. And once you have finished the designing of your invitation, you can go and download it. And now to make things even more smooth for our customers, what I will do is just go and put together these two parts of the invitation in one file. And to do this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click in create design. I'm going to click in custom size. And instead of doing five times seven, I'm just going to go and add 11 times 8.5 and I'm going to click in create new design. So over here, we already have the page for our invitation. And what I'm going to do now is just go back to my invitation and I'm going to add a shape. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to add this shape and I'm going to make it to fit all the way in my design. So from here to here. And then what I will do is just go select over all of my invitation and I'm going to click in control C and I'm going to go to my new design and I'm going to make control V. And now we can go and adjust it into our page. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to paste it. And once I have my invitation over here, what I will do is just first of all, with this same element, I'm just going to go duplicate and I'm going to add it over here. And then I'm just going to put it over here next to my other design. So now we have the front and the back of our invitation. And once we have it over there, I'm just going to go and place it all the way here. And in this section, I'm going to go and click in for their weight. This line will show to the customers where they have to cut the invitation. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to click over here and we can go and delete the color. And now what I'm going to do is just go click over it and I'm going to go and lock position. I'm just going to go position and then I'm just going to lock it. There we go. And now I can go and delete this part and we're going to make exactly the same for the other part of our invitation. And there we have our invitation in one file. Now to download our invitation, we can click in share. We can click in download and we can click in PDF to print. And now we can download our invitation. And once you have uploaded your printables into your Etsy listing, and start telling your printables over and over again to generate amazing income. If you would like to learn how to create stickers to sell on Etsy, you can watch my video, link in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.